Bienvenue tout le monde à notre webinaire sur l'équité des genres. Et euh, mon nom est Karine Dumontier, je suis responsable du programme d'équité des genres à Tennis de Table Canada. And with me, Thorsten Goal, board representative on G Gender Equity Committee. Tonight, we will have a very, very special guest, and I'm very thrilled to introduce you to our guest, Anita Mahachan. <laughs> no, no, I did not say it right. Can you say your name, Anita? Anita Mohajan, ma'am. Anita Mahajan. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> we are hosting these webinars about gender equity and women in sport because we want to show a positive image of table tennis. We want to increase the presence of table tennis with a focus on girls and women and introduce you some amazing leaders, coaches, officials, and athletes. And tonight we have a very, very special guest, as I said, uh, and um, we will start with an interview. Then if you have questions for her, feel free to ask your question. You can raise your virtual hand or you can write your question on the chat box. So thank you very much, Anita, to be here with us tonight Tonight for us. But what time is it in Nepal? Uh, Ma'am, it's 6 a.m. 6, it's 8 a.m. 6 a.m. We, we tried to figure out what time would be the best for you, not too early. But at the same time here in Canada, in Montreal, it's 8 p.m. At the other side of the country, it's 5 p.m. in Vancouver. And on the other side in east is 9 30 p.m so we wanted to to make it very easy for you but that 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 was not very easy for you because you had to get up early but thank you very much to be with us and tonight we want to know a little bit more about your experience that we maybe some people um follow you on social media because you have some amazing picture and some amazing uh, stories to share. And tonight we want to know a little bit more about your experience, Anita. So you are from Nepal. We don't know a lot about your country, Anita. So maybe we can start with a short video of your town and maybe you can uh, comment on the, what you see on the video, maybe. Uh, yeah, a bit of uh, music. <laughs> so I guess this is the Kathmandu. Yes, ma'am. This is it's the heart of Nepal. And this is the Darbarmak Royal Palace Road. Oh, and that's the King's Palace. This is a big city. This is the capital of your country. Yes, ma'am. It's nice. in the heart of Nepal. Yeah, this is a lot of colors all around. Uh, this is a national stadium that's called the Dasrutranga Sala. This is the Swaimbu Temple, Monkey Temple. Mm. So what we know about ne Nepal, uh, Anita, is uh, a lot about just the mountains. Uh, we know, <laughs> but we don't know about table tennis in Nepal. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your experience in table tennis in Nepal? How did you start? Did you start with playing or? Uh, so let's start from my introduction, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Anita Marjan from Kathmandu, the city of Nepal, a country of a Lord Buddha birthplace. Uh, from my childhood, I was very fascinated with the sports. I love watching sports and I love watching sports channels on my television. <clears throat> and I imagine myself as well. Uh, I was a very strong from my childhood. Uh, I can easily lift a weight, run, exercise, push up, and some some of this exercise. Uh, 
one day my father noticed me playing small bat with a piece of square carbon <laughs> After after the day, he took me to the nearest table tennis club, uh, which is nearby my home. And he picked up me and uh, he took me over to that place. Then from there, I had started my sports journey, ma'am. Uh, Anita, I will just translate in French right now, okay? Alors, Anita nous dit qu'elle était une petite fille sportive et très, très forte et c'est son père qui l'a amenée au club de tennis de table le plus proche quand elle était toute petite. So you started very young. What, what age did you have when you started playing, Anita? I'm from grade four. Grade four, okay. And we, we see on the image that you were playing um, Uh, for a long time, you, you played tournaments. Um, what did you like playing tournaments? Uh, which tournament, ma'am? Uh, this this uh, picture was taken taken at a tournament, you said. Um... Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, this is of a South Asian game. Uh, last time it was held on uh, Nepal uh, with the uh, seven countries on that tournament. And this is the last picture. This picture will indicate me whether I'll be selected or not. And this, uh, this picture talks me a lot because after clicking this picture also, uh, due to the, some technical problem, there is a, tal there is a tally, tally with the player that on the normal ranking. So I was not selected on that time. This picture talks me a lot, ma'am. This is yeah. a South Asian game selection match, ma'am. It's over a lunch or national stadium of table tennis. And um, the other picture I've been taken at your club, I guess. Can you talk a little bit about how did you start the club and since when and why did you start it? Uh, uh, I live in Samakusi, Kathmandu with my family. Uh, yes, I had started my table tennis club. Uh, its name is Anis. It's my own nickname, Anis Big Bang Club. And uh, uh, while well, talking about my club, uh, it was just a year before my club. I got a chance to participate in a tournament which was on a universe site in Korea. Uh, it was my first visit for the foreign country and where I got a chance to meet a great table tennis player with the different countries. And uh, while talking with among uh, many players among them, I got uh, one player, she shared with me that she had a club and she had to practice his everything at his own home. And I was really surprised. Uh, it could, will it possible? Uh, I have uh, some, I have some uh, talk with uh, him and, uh, and uh, he had even a great equipment as well. But I was really amazed with that, with that courtship. So at a, so then after I promised me myself that one day, I will have my own club in the near future. <laughs> uh, then lockdown happened. Uh, due to COVID, everything was closed. Uh, it was not possible to go to practice on the nearest hall where I used to go for the practice. And uh, then I dream a small hall and my brain also strong on that the club I could establish now. Then I contacted uh, many people, uh, many people, and uh, with the friends also, family also, with the relatives also, even a school and a colleges where I had studied. But <coughs> none of the organization has helped me. But instead of that, my father, who's the hero, is only one there, and he helped me with some cash and some exercise equipment, which he had brought from 
the shop and he had started to help me table tennis club. Then I started playing practice with my brother, younger brother. And uh, after that few months, few months, everything is slowly going on. Then I officially, uh, officially registered my club on uh, April 6th because it's a World Table Tennis Day. And uh, after all, I had uh, dedicated my whole life on table tennis as well. It's already been 15, 16 years. So the club is also my one of, it's a down flat of my home with a, with a three boats now with a robot as well, DHS robot. And now I had a double number of it and uh, equipment and with my monthly income expanded the room I had done this year as well, ma'am. Wow. So the club has one year. Yes, ma'am. Exactly you, one year. And you started all with the COVID thing. <laughs> That's amazing, Anita. And the, um, so I will just summarize in French. Anita uh, a commencé son club il y a un an, euh, alors que la pandémie euh, commençait. Et elle a eu l'aide de, de son père pour euh, financièrement euh, aider le, le départ de son club. Euh, et elle a fait son club dans le sous-sol euh, où elle vit. Et euh, elle a pu avoir euh, de l'équipement, dont un robot et euh, de l'équipement pour, pour son club. Uh, what was the, the most difficult thing to start the club? At the beginning, what was difficult? What did you find difficult to start the club? In life, everything is difficult, ma'am. But to find the club, it's a huge challenge for me. Because as I being a player, I should take care of your health first, me, myself, health. Because uh, if we play healthy, we always become healthy. Uh, if we doesn't play, then it will make us like uh, somehow dull, dull, dull. So to become a fit and fine also, we have to play. So it's really hard for me to, difficult me to start, how to start, from where to start, uh, like how, from where to start, it's really difficult for me. But uh, for every difficult situation, my family, my father, and my coach is always there for me to help. So firstly, it was difficult, but slowly wise now, I had tried to learn as well. So difficulties will be completed if there is a support. And how did you find your players? Because that was COVID, everything was closed. Who came to your club? Uh, um, actually, I stay over here at Kathmandu, uh, which is the heart of Nepal. And uh, lots of the people knew me. I'm a player. And uh, I had, a, uh, firstly, the board came to my uh, club. Then I had a, started to use social media. And then from there, uh, from there, the student has been increased, ma'am. The social media is the platform where I could get a and a one thing. And my father is also like previous football player, and he he was also well known. So he had also uh, shared that uh, she had opened the club. Like uh, during, it's not uh, we didn't we didn't went to the outside, but through the through the social media we communicate. So likewise, uh, we didn't do so much so much crowd, but by one by one, one by one, hour and hour, uh, the player came to Annie Spring Bank Club. It's a, at first it came, it's nearby my home site only. But now, uh, but now I got a student from another city also. Oh yeah, <laughs> wow. And uh, do you have only children, kids that are coming to your club or do you have some 
adult also that wants to play or? Uh, yes, ma'am. I had from a grassroots level to till veterans also. And uh, at my club, uh, there's a uh, uh, young, youngster also, girls, especially girls are there. And then after uh, I had a college level also, and there's a veterans player also. And even uh, now it's great. It's a great news for us also. We had a uh, uh, Miss Nepal ma'am. Uh, Miss Nepal ma'am also and she also encouraged me and she brought two uh, son herself to encourage me and to uh, to promote the table tennis also yeah and uh, now now wise uh, here's the uh, Turkish Airlines MD Sor also used to come to play table tennis now slowly wise it's going on ma'am there okay. is noise but everyone is coming slowly slowly wise ma'am OK. Alors, Anita nous expliquait qu'elle a commencé euh, son club pour avoir des nouveaux joueurs. Elle, beaucoup, elle a beaucoup utilisé les médias sociaux pour faire connaître son club. Elle était aussi bien connue comme joueuse à Katmandou, alors c'était plus facile de faire la publicité autour euh, de son club. Et elle, elle, euh, elle nous aurait dit qu'elle avait eu beaucoup l'aide de, de sa famille pour euh, commencer le club. I, I read somewhere Um, that your brother was playing, is playing table tennis as well. Yes. Uh, do he help you as a coach in the club or do you have uh, his help to, 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 to coach at the club with you? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Like uh, most of the time I... I would not able to give a club the time instead of me. He's also a player, but uh, he had a bit gap due to the due to the exam. So uh, instead of me, he look for what if I was not there, he will do inquiry and he practices to the kids. And sometimes uh, he make a tournament also. OK. Alors, Anita nous expliquait qu'elle qu avait l'aide de son frère qui joue aussi au tennis de table, qui la remplaçait parfois et qui pratique aussi avec les, les jeunes au club. Um, Anita, do you have, how, how can, how do you promote table tennis and how, how did you find that energy to, to be on social media, to try to find uh, new players, to start the club. Uh, how are you doing that, all that? Uh, uh, it's a biggest challenge for me, ma'am, <laughs> to promote the table tennis. Uh, uh, that our government is taking too long that to invest in development of a sports ma'am. So most of the sports are in a state of negligence right now. And uh, except, except for some sports like football, cricket, volleyball, they are giving a priority. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and the others are still gone on negligence. So table tennis is also nearly on a state of negligence. So it is uh, it, um, to promote table tennis, more players uh, in local games for smaller cash price to support the table tennis. Uh, the main issue with the game is the budget, ma'am. And we cannot purchase a good gear over here. And uh, the, the government is a bit silent on this matter. Yeah, on other, on other football, cricket, it's a well-known sport. And so everyone is crazy on them also. But in table tennis, it could be a bit lower level. But it could not say like that, but it's according to the situation I'm su suffering over here. So we can't uh, we can't purchase good gear as well <laughs> because double jet is a really expensive one and uh, it is very hard to find a good sponsors sponsorship as well uh, with good education 
with the good help of and yes internet now internet has become our like use power and uh, find uh, many people are being aware about the fitness and how day by day sports are increasing uh, sports help me in a fitness of an individuals and uh, it is more important to educate the people in sports not only in table tennis in but in different games ma'am mm -hmm. and will you say that table tennis is very uh, well known in nepal or not as well as football and cricket as you said uh football cricket it's always on a high range yeah. uh, those you know, even a small kids also which player you want to play he definitely say football either cricket okay <laughs> and table tennis is not as popular or not not a lot of players or is it difficult to find players to no player are there ma'am yeah player are lots of them but uh, for the playing also they should have a proper gear yeah and uh, and uh, everyone is not so much financial good mm. so it's somehow they have good good racket and good tables good nets it's it's very expensive for yeah it's so too much it's gear. Really too much for us Mm -hmm. so that's why yeah even a small kids also which which game he wants to play if he asks for them then they obviously say football cricket likewise but table tennis it's it's really we we hear about that on map okay and you said that you started your club april 6th last year yes ma'am and this year for the first anniversary of your club what did you do special to celebrate yes, <laughs> what did you do uh, did this year this year i had done a huge project ma'am as i'm an ambassador of arabic table tennis i had a lunch arabic table tennis uk project april 6 this year <laughs> With a Steve Rosar, he visited Nepal. He came over here, and uh, we had a great program over here on Apple Seeds. Like uh, it's an Ping Pong Club anniversary also, and uh, I had a lunch Arabic table tennis UK project. It's a huge challenge for me with the help of my coach, like taking a uh, lots of place sponsor from different places like somehow sponsors sponsor i had collected then finally we had succeeded and uh, and uh, one good news uh from the vin vin vinar uh, it's from a us uh us project i mean this is a data analysis uh from that site uh nisik dilsor had uh, sent me uh, as a April 6th anniversary gift as a Stiga board, first time to any ping pong club. And uh, we had to display that board to our Halchok, uh, it is called Armed Police Force, and I'm a police officer as well. And we had a display robot, we had a display our uh, board, and we had to launch Arabic table tennis with the uh, kids. And we had about 550, uh, 550 audience, like everyone matched up. Um, and there's a lots of entrepreneurs and there's a uh, players and uh, and there's a uh, different games players involved over there. And uh, the venue where I the venue where I had uh, selected is my own office. I'm a staff of Arm Police First as well. So April 6, this time anniversary I have done was Arabic Table Tennis Long Lunch with the Steve Rose or ma'am. Okay. So that means that that was a success for you because you will have some 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 help from uh, sponsors, yes? 
That's yes, ma'am. I understood. Wow. Is it the picture that you sent to us? Is it um, is it at your club? Uh, yes, ma'am. This is a women's day program. Okay. That's my mom and dad. And we had celebrated. And the Wonderland International Preschool has visited uh, my club on a hap on Women's Day. They want to see my club, which is near from here, 10 minutes. The okay. kids are interested. So the principal ma'am had requested me, we would like to join your club. So I said, welcome. After all, principal ma'am is also a female. So I think let's celebrate us together. We, our theme is a femme empowerment. So this is a Women's Day program, ma'am. Okay. And on Women's Day, we had a, somehow a distributed some high tea and some balls which I have got from a National Sports Council. Uh, inside there is a ball and uh, some high tea, ma'am. Oh, wow. And uh, this is the same day, I guess. Uh, yes, ma'am. Women's Day, you, you celebrate. <laughs> yeah, it's mm -hmm. my home. Uh, it's my home that the down floor where the okay. club is. And uh, this is the youngest. He is just about... Uh, uh five or six years that's a very nice picture everybody yeah. was uh, Face um, print. makeup with hearts and that's very nice and you have a lot of kids yes ma'am they came to visit it yeah they visit you that's a nice visit and here is the um the picture, I guess, that what you said about the uh, Arabic table tennis that you did uh, this year. Yes, ma'am. And I got a license from Steve Rosar for Arabic table tennis. Okay. And um, how do you like to make uh, Arabic table tennis? Do you like it? Uh, what do you like in that? Because we... We saw Steve Rowe in Canada as well, <laughs> and we know a little bit of uh, his program with music and movement. Uh, so did you try it with the kids? Yeah, before coming uh, Steve Rowe saw to Nepal, I had already been done this over here to my club, to my student, to my, even not only the smaller, even to the veterans, everyone. So. I think like this kind of program, we should have to launch earlier because it's not only the Arabic table tennis, it makes us a fit as well because yeah. fitness is the main key. If we are fit and fine, then we are able to do anything else. Then we, uh, if we are not uh, like healthy, then our mind will not be also healthy. So it will be hard for us to survive. So to make, people healthy. I think Arabic table tennis is the main point. And I'm so glad that I got like this kind of huge project in my head. And I'm so glad, ma'am. Yeah, yes. it makes a fit and fine, healthy enjoyment. Uh, it makes relaxed. Even there is no ace bar also. Uh, we should, uh, we, we should uh, join this program to all over the world, ma'am. Not only in Nepal, I think this should be flow all over the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, our um, national athletes here in Canada uh, participate in that program as well. And they made some videos, if you want to look at it, that, that's, that's nice to see. And mm -hmm. that's a good way to stay healthy, as you said. And um, um, you did some demonstration. Uh, do you have some project to go or to have more players in your club? What's your project? What, what, would, what would be your dream? Because that one year you made so much things uh, and so, much, so many projects that you made. Do you have still dreams? Yeah, yes, I have uh, one dream project. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, last time also I had uh, applied uh, due to uh, some of the regions, uh, due to my some of the 
uh, points like this and some pepper. I was not good selected. Now let's hope this year I could cut. And uh, another one is uh, last year I had a celebrated Arabic uh, World Table Tennis Day and it's broke up. Now this year Arabic Table Tennis, uh, if possible on second anniversary, if possible, if I could, uh, if I could have a lots of sponsor, I could try to do use international tournament. I was keeping in my mind. So for that, from yesterday, I had to start in my work now. Okay. Alors, Anita voudrait peut-être faire un tournoi international l'année prochaine pour le deuxième anniversaire de, de son club. Uh, I wish you to really have success with that dream because that would be so amazing to have a, a tournament, international tournament in Nepal. And I would go <laughs> for sure <laughs> just to see it just to see you uh, in real, because that's amazing that we can talk on the computer, but that would be so nice to meet you for real, <laughs> maybe one day. <laughs> and um, that was... Um, uh, and there's another picture that, ma'am. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a school, it's a Bodh Meridian school on Apple 7. Okay. Uh, this front one too, it's our venue APF, and it's a seven one that is Arabic table tennis launch. It's an about the Meridian school. Okay. We went to made, another. You made a demonstration at that school with uh, Steve Rowe. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. And uh, we had started the school level also. So now slowly, slowly wise, uh, we have to do on a different school also. Yeah. At First, April 6, APF Venu, then after um, April 7, both the Meridian School, we had started, man. So you have a lot of work in, um, that will come with that because I'm sure that um, a lot of school will be interested to have you and make some Arabic table tennis. That's a great way to, um, to show what table tennis is, and after that, they can play to your club. Um, I cannot take that link, but uh, on Facebook last, uh, on April 6th, I, I heard uh, someone very special at ITTF, the president was saying something very nice to you. To say yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is the link, but it doesn't work. I don't know, Thurston, if you can make it work. But um, how did you react when you had that message from Petra, the new uh, ITTF president? She was saying, thank you very much for all your work with the girls, table tennis, and make the promotion of the, of, of the sport. Uh, that's what she said to you on April 6th. How did you react? Uh, uh, I was really pleased that ma'am had noticing me since from all year. And, uh, and I had uh, some mail to ma'am and uh, ma'am said, Annie, you are doing a great. And uh, what, uh, for me, it's a really good things. It's a really precious. And the clip which we had took, the man Peter Solding, which we had shown to the projector during World Table Tennis Day. On that day, everyone, after uh, ending that man Peter Solding man clip, everyone becomes speechless and everyone clap. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess that was a very nice me message for you and it was well deserved. Yes, ma'am. Because all the work that you are doing and the passion that you put on table tennis and that, that's great to follow you from our <laughs> North <laughs> country. We can see that all the smiles in the face of your 
of the kids that are at the club and that's that's very great to um that's very very great to follow you uh, by social media you are doing a great job i have the clip for you so we can maybe finish with that Hi, I'm Petra Sorling, president of ITF, International Table Tennis Federation. It's my pleasure to send my congratulations to Annie and the Ping Pong Club in Nepal, Kathmandu, for the job that you have done with the girls and what you will do in the future. I'm so happy to follow what you're doing down there, and I'm looking forward to follow you also for the future. Good luck, and thank you so much. So sweet. Yeah, that's a very sweet message. And that's, I guess, uh, just help you to work even harder for the next year, for the second anniversary of your club. Uh, would you like to um, add something that we did not discuss tonight? And in the morning for you? <laughs> uh, uh, goals of, I think the goals of club, uh, do you want to share something else with us? Uh, actually, uh, thank, uh, thank you so much for your time, ma'am, and uh, thrones or two. Uh, with the help of, with the help of national and international platform, uh, today I had uh, started my club as well. And uh, from my club, I hope I could uh, make a lots of uh, kids to promote uh, table tennis all over the world, especially female, because I especially deserve female. And uh, my topic is also femme empowerment. So to develop a table tennis, uh, every femme empowerment is important, ma'am. Thank you so much to have been with us tonight, uh, this morning for you. I hope that you will have a great day in Kathmandu. And um, I will just finish by announcing some uh, more event that we, we will have next month. Um, so I have to share my screen. <laughs> and um, I just want to show you that. So our next uh, webinar will be May 10th, and we have a community coaching course by Titi Khan on April 22. And you can still register at um, Titi Khan for the community coach course, course, and everybody is welcome. We have our newsletter that you can follow our uh, news at Titi Khan and our webinar and uh, special activities. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anita, once again, to have been with us, to have been uh, very early for you. Uh, get up early and share our, your amazing story. That was great to have you. Thank you very much. Welcome, ma'am. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, ma'am. <laughs>